welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. So I'm very excited today to talk about my perfume collection, and this is a tag that was started by Holly at Perfumed Vegas, and I'm really excited. She's got 13 questions. It's called Perfumes Against Humanity, which I thought was a really cute um, name for a perfume tag. And you know, it's based on the game Cards Against Humanity. This is gonna be a PG version, so don't worry if you have kids around. It's <laughs> So what is the most boring perfume you own? And for this one, I picked actually pretty similar to what Holly picked. I picked Bulgari Omnia Coral. She had another um, from the same line, but a different one. But um, it's just very ubiquitous. Um, I probably will end up decluttering this. It, um, just doesn't really excite me very much. It's nice. It's not not like bad or anything, but I don't know. It's it's kind of nondescript. I think it's considered a floral, and um, I don't know, just not my thing. So yeah, it's kind of boring to me. Do you wish you could quit, stop wearing, but can't? And this one I picked, Rubble Fleur from Rihanna because this one I just uh, I just love it so much, and you know. I don't think it's bad um, to wear the same thing over and over, but when you have a big collection like I do, it's nice to rotate a bit. So this one, I'm just, I like to wear this on a weekly basis, at least during the summer and it's beautiful and um, I just don't want to put it down. So that's my pick for can't stop wearing. Now that I'm smelling the coral, <laughs> the Amia um, coral, it does smell good. I have to say it's not maybe as boring as I thought, but still probably going to declutter it. What perfume are you sick of seeing on social media? And I actually picked Libra from YSL and I love this one actually. This is my um, deluxe sample. I have um, a couple more waiting in the wings when I finish this and it just, I don't see it as much anymore because this isn't as new as it was obviously, but the song, um, I can't remember who originally sung the song, but it's, it goes, I'm free to do what I want any old time and those commercials were so annoying and I would see them on YouTube and I would see them all over the place so um I don't I don't see this on social media nearly as much anymore and now they're coming out with an intense version which sounds pretty interesting anyway that was one that just drove me nuts when it was when it was coming out how did you discover your favorite perfume and my favorite perfume changes pretty frequently um I don't know if I, I don't want to say on a weekly basis but it seems like on a monthly basis but right now I'm feeling like my favorite perfume is Narciso Rouge. I've talked about it a lot on the channel and it's just gorgeous. And, um, and the, maybe the reason I'm thinking it's my, it's my favorite at the moment is because I haven't worn it in a while. Cause it's a little more cold weather. Um, it's more of a cold weather fragrance, but it's so beautiful. And so, um, how did I discover it? I'm pretty sure I discovered it on YouTube and I don't remember who, or I don't remember which channel recommended this originally might have been angel lately i'm not sure um but somebody recommended this and um i picked it up i got a set and i love it so much it's it's stunning to me and so i'm very very easily influenced <laughs> what perfume smells different to you than to others you've heard describe it so for me that's aventus i've only smelled it once and that was in nordstrom and i just it's just smelled like a kind of an ambroxan mess to me. And I know people say it smells like pineapple and it's supposed to be fabulous and women are supposed to love it and it's supposed to be amazing. And it's got like this cult following, but I just was not seeing it at all. And I don't know if I, I was just not in a mood that day or if it was a bad bottle or I don't know what, but I just was like, wow, <laughs> overhyped and overpriced was my impression. What scent note, if any, will immediately disqualify a, a perfume for you? So I'm not that hard and fast on this kind of thing because um, I was looking through Fragrantica just to kind of refresh my memory on what various notes are. And I ended up picking cumin because <laughs> I like cumin in, um, in food, but in perfume, that just doesn't sound very good to me. But I actually do have a perfume that has a cumin note and this is called Elvis Jesus for Her. And it's a really beautiful cherry, it's a woody cherry. It's very pretty. Um, I don't get cumin when I smell this. This has a lot of different notes in it, and I definitely don't smell cumin when I when I spray this. So, um, so but that just 
That does not sound like a pleasant note to me. Mm. Yum. So, um, yeah, I don't get cumin, thankfully. Uh, what perfume would you never wear to dinner? And again, I'm not that hard and fast with these things, but I picked Gucci Guilty Absolute, and this is the, um, this is the for him version. And I really love it. It's really beautiful, smoky and delicious. And um, it's just, I think it's gorgeous, but I don't think it goes very well with food because it's so kind of smoky and um, deep, rich. I think it could have the potential for clashing with food, but I really do love this one. And see, my husband's made a little bit of a dent in it, but because it lives on his shelf, but it's beautiful, but maybe not for dinner. I don't know. That was a tough one for me. The next question is, what perfume would you pay any amount of money for if it disappeared today? And again, obviously I wouldn't pay any amount for this, but I would probably pay a lot for this. And that's Angel Eau de Toilette from 2019, just because I love it so much. I can't imagine not having it. It just makes me happy. And mm, I love it so much. And um, I would not want to be without this. Um, I'd pay a lot for it. I don't know how much, but I'd pay a lot for this, this one. And I'm glad I don't have to. Do you associate any songs with any specific scents? Yes, I do. This one is Nicki Minaj's Majesty Exotic. And when I see this, I think of Starships, <laughs> the song. It just, um, I like that song and, um, it's very catchy. And when I see Nicki, I just think of that song. So, um, it's a good, it's a nice celebrity scent. I really like this one. And unfortunately it's discontinued. I think the Menagesty original version is still available, but this one's got a, a slightly different note profile and I think it's really pretty. Um, so I definitely think of Starships when I see this bottle. What is the best perfume you've ever been gifted? And there's a long story that goes along with this, but <laughs> I'm not going to get into it. This is Chloe Nomad. And uh, my husband did give me this, not this exact bottle, but he did give me a bottle of Chloe Nomad and I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> but I love this. I love Nomad and it was so sweet of him. And um, yeah. What trendy perfume do you still wear? I love my Coco Mademoiselle. It's a very patchouli and citrus heavy, delicious and classy fragrance. And it still seems to be on trend. Um, it seems like it's one of those things that just stays popular and I really love it and especially in the spring I think this is like a beautiful spring perfume but really any time of year this one works maybe not in a super super heat but I love it it's beautiful reformulations forgivable or the work of the devil and I just said not really an issue for me um kind of like Holly said in her video too um it's like they're gonna happen I haven't had a big issue with reformulations and um, and maybe it's because I haven't been a fragrance aficionado for super long. I've always worn perfume, but this hobby um, has really only been the last few years. So maybe that's why reformulations don't bother me. But at this point, it's not really an issue for me. And the last question, if you had to pick a perfume you would love more, if something about it were changed, what would it be and why? So I didn't pick a perfume. I picked a line and I picked Jennifer Aniston's line. I've got chapter one, chapter two, and J. And what I would change is longevity. These are really beautiful. I really like these and they don't really last. So, um, and you know, these are the type of perfumes that maybe that's okay. You know, like these you could easily throw in your purse and respray. This one, not as much, but um, this is a really nice out of the shower, but I really love her line. Um, the ones I've tried from her are great, but again, I wish they lasted longer. That would be what I would change. So, um, so those are the 13 questions and I don't tag anyone specifically, but I would, if you're interested in doing this tag, I hope you will consider doing it and please support Holly at Perfumed Vegas. I'll link her video and channel below and I hope you're having a wonderful day and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't and I will see you again very soon. Thank you.